Hey guys, wanna make a quick video with some tips I think might help you out. Um, swapping out toilets, I got these two to switch out today. Um, I'm by no means a plumber, but I can definitely switch out a toilet. But I thought this might make for a good video. I've already got this toilet out. I've got it sitting over here in the shower, but that's my first tip. I always take it apart. I take the tank, yeah, what is that? The tank off the bowl. I take those two loose. Before I do that, this connection right here that ties into the wall. Obviously, I cut the valve off, flush the toilet, and hold it and get as much water out of there as I can. But then I'll take this hose loose with a little cup. <clears throat> I keep a little cup on my trailer or bucket, whatever. I got bigger ones than that, but a five gallon bucket won't fit in there. So a small bucket is very handy. So I'll stick that under there, take that hose loose and drain as much water out of it as I can. While I'm waiting, I'll go ahead and loosen these two nuts just to give me something to do while that's draining. <clears throat> um, and then once it drains down pretty good, try to keep towels, just spare towels on the trailer. But I will then take these two nuts loose. You're gonna get a little water drip out from there. If you have a rag laying down there, to catch that but anyway take i take the tank off and i i try to find or you know i mean always or unless you're changing in a half bath but there's almost always a tub or a shower close by i'll take my tank directly over and put in that um in the shower or whatever just flip it on over let some water drain out and i don't have a big mess i don't want to walk through the house with a bunch of water slipping out then i'll go ahead and lift the uh, toilet out set it over, um, get it in there. Now, it is gonna have water in the bottom. Try to be careful, but it's gonna slosh some out too. Um, but I've also, you know, I'll, I'll clean that up also. Um, after that, you're gonna have that wax ring down there. And I've used, I've used little uh, putty knives or drywall knives to kind of scrape that up. And then I'll take it and throw it in a five gallon bucket but it's better that I've learned over time. I have some paper towels or some toilet paper. No, that toilet paper won't really work. Paper towels or these little rags and a trash bag ready to kind of scoop all that crap up and get it in the bag because whatever it touches, it's going to be there from now into eternity. So I don't like to get it on my tools anymore or in a bucket. And then my bucket's got wax down at the bottom. The only way really to get it out of there is to probably heat it and boil it out. But <clears throat> anyway, and then, uh, that leads me to another tip. I always use these. I don't, for some reason I call them Johnny rings. I don't, that must used to be called that, but I always use these. It comes, as you can tell, with some new uh, bolts and washers and all that good stuff. The toilet does too. The toilet comes with a wax ring, but I don't use them. I like those things. You can take them in and out a hundred times and won't mess them up. When I was a kid, my dad used to put those wax rings in the freezer we'd always have some out in the freezer so if we ever had to, he had to change out a toilet that thing would be frozen it wouldn't mess up on him the first or second time it'd give him a couple chances but now they got these other things um so i can't remember if it was i know there was something else you can see this toilet i don't know i thought this was caulk but it feels like grout from the tiles um but I see a lot of people will caulk around a toilet. I don't know if they think that makes it look better. And I guess it does kind of finish it up. But to me, that's a terrible idea. Because if that toilet um, gasket starts leaking, you're not going to know it until it rocks the floor out and gets soft. If, I, if it's leaking, I want to see water out in the floor. So I never caulk underneath there. Now that's even got grout. So I'm going to have to get all that up somehow without tearing up the, um, the tile. Maybe... I'd like to think maybe I'm a guy, I'd get lucky. My to toilet's going to be a little bigger, but I'm sure it won't. So I have to get that out. It'll make that thing off balance. And another problem I run into sometimes, this one is sitting just a little bit high here and back here. You know, plumbers could care less, most of them, about the guy putting the toilet in, unless he's going to be the one doing it. So they'll just run them things and stick them up. Sometimes I've seen them up to a half an inch high. Then you're trying to shim a toilet and that turns into a nightmare. So this has got this ring in it. If the toilet's sitting low, I think's why this is, you can set that in and kind of build it up. But if, if not, you're gonna have to get some, I'll get composite shims and um, put in there, but you can see how this thing will work. These little holes will go over that. 
Um, oh, and I've got, this one has this flexible line, but I always keep some, I try to keep some extras on my trailer because a lot of times they'll have that hard pipe in there where it's, it was cut to fit, especially for that toilet. So if you get a new toilet, that's gonna be a little different. It's not gonna work. Plus I think these are a little better. So I don't know if that one needs to be replaced. I might go ahead and replace it anyway. The one in the other bathroom definitely needs to be replaced. So I've got one of those. Um, and I think that's it. I think I mentioned I, the, the biggest reason I take these apart is so that it'll lighten the load, you can get it out easier. I can leave that together and haul it outside, walk all the way through the house, down the steps to my trailer, and it'll save me about 25 seconds to do this, which it ain't worth it. I'll take it apart. Um, last tip I'll give you. We swapped out some toilets one time and they, or we actually just replaced this part on a toilet, on about four toilets. And we didn't get them cranked down good and tight. Well, everything looked good while we were there. But the next day the customer called and said that they had leaked and did some drywall damage. So I had to go ahead and fix all that. So now I'll take, I'll dry everything up real good when I'm done. I'll take two or three pieces of toilet paper and just lay them back in the back and I'll ask the customer, if you don't mind, later tonight or tomorrow morning, go check that toilet paper, make sure it's not dripping or leaking or anything. And, and I've never had anybody complain about that. I think people like that, it's due diligence. So that's all I got. Just thought I'd make that video on making your life easier when you're swapping out a toilet. If you've got some comments you wanna add, drop them in the comments, or you can always, as, as some people like to do, tell me how stupid I am, I always appreciate that too. Thanks a lot.